to Hudson's House of Play. Thank you for joining me for our craft tutorial. So this week we are talking about under the sea and today we talked about mollusks. So for our craft we are making an octopus. Let's go over the tools and items we'll need. Very simply a paper towel roll. If you don't have a paper towel roll you can make a tiny octopus with a toilet paper roll. We will need some decoratives. I have some buttons here. I have some little sequins and my favorite, some Cheerios or any kind of circular cereal works great here. And then as usual, we'll always need our tools, coloring tools, glue or tape, some scissors, and if you're going to be painting, a paintbrush. All right, let's get started. So first thing we need to do is take our paper towel roll, and you can follow these same instructions for our little toilet paper roll as well. And we're going to use our scissors to cut the tentacles out. As we learned today in class, our octopus has eight tentacles. So we will need to make eight tentacles out of the base here. You wanna make sure you save enough room at the top for the face of the octopus. So maybe you draw a line just in case to make sure you don't snip it too high. Miss Lynn is going to draw, let's see, I'm going to draw a little spot right here, just so that I know that's how high I will go. Or maybe you just snip as high as your scissors go. So let's start cutting. I'm going to go up to my little dot, just like I had drawn. And that's one. Keep going. We need eight. So maybe what you want to do is cut directly in half on the other side. That way we can measure it out evenly. There we go. So, so far I have two tentacles. I'm going to cut those two in half, directly in half. has cut one, two, and three. I'm gonna cut this wider side in half as well. And take your time with the scissors. Remember, you're building your motor skills here. All right, we've got four slits here. Now, let's cut those in half, and that will bring us to eight. So go nice and slow, right down the middle of each slit that you have so far. So far so good. Let me stop just to show you what it's looking like. And keep going. And last one. All right. Look at that. What did we do to this paper towel? Doesn't it look so cool? All right, so before we go ahead, we are going to paint in our whole octopus. You can color it in with crayon or marker, or you can use paint. If you are using paint, then just be aware that you're gonna have to let your octopus dry before you can add any decoratives on top. So Miss Lynn is going to use a little bit of both. I'm going to do some paint and I'm also going to use some markers. So let's get the paint out. Hmm, what color should I do for today? I think I will choose orange. Maybe some orange. Where is that orange? Oh, oh I have a brown. Oh, I guess I don't have orange in here. So then let's do a purple. Miss Lynn does love purple. But I am going to 
do a light purple. So I'm going to mix it with a little bit of white. And I'm going to put all of my other paints away. There we go. And let me grab my brush. Here it is. Now, let's see. I'm going to put a little bit of white inside the cap of my purple. I'm using my little cap just to hold the paint. That way I don't need to waste a paper plate. Oops. All right, Miss Lynn is going to mix, mix, mix her paint just so that you can see I'm making a pretty purple color. What color will your octopus be? Maybe you like orange, maybe you like green, whatever color you like, go for it. This is your artwork and it's ready. Okay, let's see. Miss Lynn is going to paint the top where the face of the octopus, the head of the octopus will be. And I'll just put on some strokes here and I'll show you how it looks as I go. And then I'm gonna do a, maybe a different color for my tentacles, the arms of the octopus. All right. Oh, I really do like this purple color. It's very light and springy. This is gonna be a happy little octopus. go too crazy with the paint. I don't want my my toilet paper roll to be too too wet because then I won't be able to add my decorations on here, right? And I want to make sure that I give it plenty of time to dry. So I'm going to really spread out my paint, cover all of the paper towel roll. Or if you're using a toilet paper roll, that's fine too. Then you'll really need to use a lot less paint. All right, I think it's all ready. Okay, let's stick it right here to let it dry for just a few minutes. I'm gonna close up my paint to make sure I don't get it all over myself. Oops, this way. And then I'm gonna go for some markers to decorate the legs. I'm going to go for another purpley pink color. I am going to add, and you can add some fun patterns on the legs, or maybe you just color them in. It's up to you, whatever you feel like doing. Miss Lynn is going to just color these in. And you know, you can always do the coloring beforehand too, before you cut, if that makes it a little easier. Yeah, that might have been a little easier for you guys. And let's see. And you can always just hold each leg just like this, each tentacle, and color it in. Yeah, I'm just doing a few of them. I want to keep a lot of my legs this brown color. I like the brown. All right, just a few. What color are you choosing for your tentacles? Maybe you're doing some polka dots on there. Do we remember what is on the octopus's tentacles? Those little suctions, that's right. And that's what we're using our Cheerios for. Or if you're using your sequins, that would be cool too. And you can always just use some marker to draw on your tentacles if you don't feel like gluing any decoratives on there. Stickers would be a good option too. Do you have stickers? If you have stickers, that's great. Remember, we use what we have at home. If we don't have something Miss Lynn is using, then use your creativity and come up with an alternative, with something else that would be just as good. We've got to think like artists and they use all different mediums to come up with their art. Some of us use paint, some of us use markers or crayons. Some even use food as coloring. That's a fun day. We should do a lesson on using food to color. All right, I think I'm done, yes. So far, check out my little octopus. And the top is getting nice and dry already. Next step, this is the fun part. 
we are going to take a paintbrush or a marker or anything that's thin like this and we're gonna curl our octopus's legs up. So you're gonna hold one leg, you're gonna put the marker or the paintbrush, whatever you're using, and just start rolling and rolling the toilet paper all the way up and then release. Check it out, look at this. Whoa, that looks pretty good. And this one is going to curl it just a little bit more. I like my octopus to have very curly tentacles. Look at that. We are gonna do that eight all the way around. So eight legs all together. Take your time, use the muscles in your hands, focus on your work and roll each leg up. There we go, up, up, up. And you can do it as curly as you'd like, or you can keep it straight if you'd like. All right, or they can be different. Each leg can be different. Maybe one is curlier than the other. Almost there. I have four more to go. All right. There we go. And keep going. Take your time and focus on what you're doing. Look at how it looks so far. That is excellent. And I have two more. To roll and then we're done with the legs for now. All right, last curl. Up, up, up we go. And release. Check out my octopus so far. And look, it can stand up on its own. Isn't that fun? All right, now. A couple of options. You can leave your octopus's to, um, arms just as is, or you can add your decoratives on there. And Miss Lynn's gonna show you how we do that. But for those who wanna leave it plain, let's move on to the face, the octopus's eyes. I'm gonna grab my glue, and I think what I'll use are hmm, my buttons. Yeah, I'm gonna go with buttons today. If you have stickers or if you have pom-poms, buttons, anything like that, you can use those for eyes. You can even just cut out some paper circles for your eyes. And if you are planning on drawing your eyes, that's great too. Just make sure if you painted it, you let it dry. All right, let's see. I'm going to put a little bit of glue onto my octopus right there and I will put an eye on. Let's see how this looks. Wow, oh, it's sliding. Oh goodness, I am going to give it a little time to dry. So let's do this side. Ooh, these buttons are very heavy. So Miss Lynn is going to have to let them really, really dry there. And you need to be patient whenever we're doing any kind of artwork, sometimes it takes a while for your artwork to come together, so you need to practice patience. All right, I'm gonna let my little octopus's eyes dry, and I'm gonna hold him like this for now. I'll show you what I'll be doing at the bottom here. So let's look at one of our legs here, and I'm gonna grab some Cheerios along with some glue, and I'm going to make those little suction cups that are on our octopus's um, tentacles. So you're gonna put a little dollop of glue right there and you can add your Cheerio onto it. Now if you feel like using Cheerios, great. If you have anything else or if you wanna just draw it in or Miss Lynn has these little sequins as well I could use, you can do that too. I'm gonna do one leg just to show you what it looks like. Don't forget, be patient. It takes a while for our glue to dry. And another option, you can always use 
if you have a hot glue gun, that's fine. Or even if you have um, putty or clay, something like that. Check out the octopus's legs. Look at that. He has some of those suctions on there. So I'm going to let this dry just a little bit. Oh, I'm going to put one right on the top here. And I'm going to get started with my other legs while these ones are drying. All right, so far it looks pretty cool. Check out my octopus leg and look at the face. In the meantime, let me check if my, face, my paint is dry. I might be drawing a smile on this guy in just a second. Now, I'm gonna add a few more Cheerios and onto my legs here. See how it looks. And again, this step, you can use anything that's circular. You don't have to use the same things that Miss Lynn is using. Even Fruit Loops, a colorful type of cereal, would be pretty fun too. All right, I'm going to add a smile onto my octopus now that the paint is dry, and I can't wait to show you what it looks like. I'm just going to draw a simple little smile. And you can add anything extra on the face if you'd like. Maybe eyebrows or uh, freckles, whatever you'd like on your little guy. I'm going to keep it nice and simple. Right. I can't wait to show you. And I, you know what? I think I'm going to add those little sequins right onto the button here to make the eyes really pop. And I'll show you what that looks like. All right. Well, here we go. Check out my octopus. He has those little suction cups on the legs. I'm gonna add a few more here once these are dry so that Miss Lynn can give it a chance to get nice and glued on there. Until then, I can't wait to see how your octopus turns out. I hope you have fun with this craft and don't forget to send it in to lynn at hudsonshouseofclay.com. I'll see you next time. Goodbye to all my friends. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye to all my friends. I'll see you again from your place to my place, from your room to the classroom. Goodbye to all my friends. I'll see you again. Bye. Have fun. Mwah.